Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I want to look at using Beaver Builder and Beaver Themer to create theme template files for a custom post type. This video is part three of a series looking at custom post types and theme builders. Most premium page builders now include a theme builder, the ability to create theme templates. However, the process, difficulty, and limitations are different for each page builder. The idea of this series is to get a walkthrough of options, see what's involved in the strengths and weaknesses, so that you can choose and get a running start with the builder of your choice. In part one, I create a custom post type using CPT UI and advanced custom fields. In part two, I looked at how to create the single template and archive template for the custom post type using the new Divi 4 theme builder. Now in part three, I'm going to show how to create the single and archive templates using Beaver Builder and Beaver Themer. I've set up a test site using the Page Builder Framework theme and custom post type UI and advanced custom fields to create a custom post type called Books with a taxonomy called Genres and added some book records. Let's take a look at one. You see the regular post title, post body, and the book cover as the featured image. And then there are two custom fields, the author's photo and a link to the author's website. Let's look at that on the front end. You can see that we have the title, the featured image, and the body, but the data from the custom post types isn't showing. We have to do some theming, create some theme templates for it to show. Most premium page builders include the theming capabilities inside the premium plugin, but Beaver Builder separated it out into a separate plugin called Beaver Themer. Therefore, to do theming with Beaver Builder, you need both the premium Beaver Builder plugin and the Beaver Themer plugin. This makes it a more expensive option, but that's offset by a 40% renewal discount. When you install Beaver Themer, you get an extra submenu here, and to start creating our layouts, we click Add New. Let's create the single first. We want a theme or layout, not a template, saved row, or saved module. And we don't want it for the header or footer, we want it for the singular. We click Add Theme or Layout. Then we have an option here. We know it's a singular, but we want to choose the location. In other words, where do we want to show it? And here we can say for all singulars, for posts, for categories, tags, pages, and so on. But what we want it for is for books, for all books. There is an option to add rules to further restrict this if you wanted to customize the template, say for a certain post or for all book posts by a certain author and so on. But we're not going to be doing that. We click Publish and now launch Beaver Builder. One nice thing about the Beaver Builder, Beaver Themer combination is usually by the time you get to creating theme templates, you're already quite familiar with Beaver Builder. By default, Beaver Themer puts the featured image as the background to this page header and then puts the title and post meta underneath that. Then there is the post content, the categories, although it's looking for the wrong category. It's not looking for genre. And an option here for comments. This isn't quite what we want, so we're going to delete it and start from scratch. Now that we have a blank template, we will click the plus button and choose a three column layout. In the right column, we want to add the sidebar. So we'll drag that in. And there's our sidebar. Now in the left column, we want to add the featured image. And we'll go to these themer modules that are added when you have Beaver Themer active. And we'll pull in the featured image. So that's good. Then in the content area, in this middle area, we'll add the title and meta and content. So post title. Then we'll 
post info. Post content. And then here, I guess we can get rid of some of that extra padding there to bring the post meta up. And we can make that a little smaller and that a little smaller. Now let's add our custom fields. First, let's add the author's picture. And now this little plus sign here is where you select the dynamic data. So we don't want the featured image. We're going to want an advanced custom field value here. And it's from the post. So it's a post field. But note that there's also the option here to link to the author object, the user object, or an option field. But let's connect to the post field. And now we have the option for text, URL, image, select and radio. So this is an image. And now we have to add the field name. Unfortunately, Beaver Themer doesn't do a lookup and give us a list of options to choose from, which would make this easier. Instead, you may have to go back and look it up. So I've looked up the field name and I pasted it in there. And let's save it. There's the author's photo. Now let's add a button to go to the author's website. So we use the button module. And for the link, we'll again want to use dynamic data. And we'll use the post field. And this time it's a URL. And let's change the text of the button. And let's align it, center align, so it goes under the picture and click Save. And there is our single template, a simple version with some values from the custom field showing. So let's click Done and Publish. And there it is. That's what our single looks like. That was very easy to create. Creating the single template was very simple. You have all the Beaver Builder modules as well as the layout and style options of Beaver Builder. Now let's create the archive template. We do the same thing again. We go back to Themer Layouts, Add New. This time we'll call it Book Archive. And we want it to be an archive. We'll choose that we want it for Book Archive. And we'll hit Publish. Now we'll launch Beaver Builder. By default, we get a layout here where the archive title has a lot of padding around it. So let's change that, get rid of all this padding. and change this to be left aligned. And instead of the archive title, let's type one in. Okay, so there's the title. And by default, Beaver Builder uses the posts module here. And this is what that looks like by default. We can see that this huge featured image kind of looks out of place. We get several layouts. I like the list layout, but there's also the option for columns, masonry, or gallery. What I want to do here is just make the featured image smaller. So instead of 50% of the image size, let's make it 20%. Mm, that's good. The posts module has a ton of options. We looked at the layout options, but there are also spacing options, 
options for a class, which HTML element you want to use, the image where you want it aligned, the position of the image, the size of the image, fallback photo, the post info, the post meta, which what do you want to show, the category terms, show more link, there's style options here, content options, we're using the main query here, but there's also the option to use an advanced custom field relationship or a custom query. But since we've already set it for books, we don't need to use a custom query. There are pagination options and advanced options, which gives us margin and padding and some other styling options. Now suppose you wanted to include a custom field in your archive layout. There is an option here under post layout to do custom. And when you do that, you go into a full editor here where you could add short codes to include, for example, an advanced custom field. However, We'll just go for default, but it's nice to know that you have that flexibility. So now let's click done and publish. And here's our archive. That was very easy. Overall, Beaver Builder and Beaver Themer are very straightforward and flexible. They allow you to create templates in a drag and drop GUI very quickly. One of the nice things about it is as you are working, you actually see a preview of real data. So there's no guessing what things are gonna look like. The single template experience was really good. It was very easy to add in the custom field information, the author's photo and the link to the author's website. An improvement might be when you're looking at the custom fields to actually see a list of the fields available instead of having to remember or go look up the field name. But that seems like a small item. The archive template creation was also very straightforward. The post module has a lot of layout options, but you're also able to go in to the code and actually modify it yourself to add a custom field if necessary. It should be mentioned that Beaver Themer also has the feature of conditional display. So for example, you could show or hide a row if the custom field was empty or it had a certain value. From my experience, Beaver Themer is one of the easiest and most powerful builders for creating theme templates. So that's it. I hope that you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. If you haven't already seen the other videos in the series, you might want to take a look. The process and experience is quite different. Thank you for watching.